Hello and welcome to Mystic Visions. This is a daily pick a card reading for January 2nd, 2021. The purpose of this reading is to give you a brief piece of advice or to help guide your overall focus for the day. If you are looking for a longer, more detailed reading, please check out my channel for the monthly readings. And I just did a yearly one too, so that's pretty cool. Uh, if you are new to pick a card readings, the way this works is that you'll choose from one of the three piles here, and then you'll click on the timestamp in the description corresponding to your choice, and it'll skip ahead in the reading to whichever pile you've selected. So if you feel compelled to choose more than one card, that's totally fine, uh, but please follow your intuition. There is likely to be some good advice in each reading, but one pile is probably more accurate than the others. So I have also added three crystals to help you decide which to choose. And today I've, ha I've added a sunstone. This is an emerald and this one is Petrified Wood. And yes, Petrified Wood is in fact a crystal. It's made entirely of silicon dioxide, which is quartz. And uh, it's no longer wood. It used to be, but now it's a crystal. So I'm going to give you about 30 seconds of silence so that you can meditate on your choice if you wish. And then once you have your choice in mind, go ahead and find the timestamp for your choice in the description below. So let's go ahead and start the 30 seconds right now. Okay, so if you have not already done so, please go ahead and make your selection and then scroll down and find the timestamp corresponding to your card. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and begin with card number one. Card number one, if you chose the sunstone. Okay, you have the Chariot in the reverse, the Queen of Wands in the reverse, and the Empress. Okay, so for card number one, uh, what we have for the situation is this uh, Chariot in the reverse, which indicates possibly a feeling of incompletion. Uh, some, something needs to be done, but it hasn't really... Uh, finished just yet. This can also feel like um, you're not really going places. You might feel a little bit stagnant or you may have just simply decided to stay home on this day. Um, and so, but maybe not by choice. M maybe you uh, kind of were forced to stay home today and you wanted to go somewhere else because there's this kind of um, potential for energy that wants to go do something, that wants to make some um, some journey or to to complete some kind of project but it's just not really happened it hasn't gone uh according to a plan so to speak or it, it it's just kind of delayed now uh crossing you here is this queen of wands in the reverse so um you know there's typically kind of like a an outgoing energy the queen of wands is very outgoing she's um you know, have, she has friends, she's extroverted, um, she wants to have a good time. So this is the, the the failure of that energy to come through in the reverse here. So this is what's crossing you. It's possible that you kind of wanted to, um, you wanted to socialize or you wanted to see some people. Maybe we're feeling a little bit lonely, wanted to get out. Um, but this hasn't really happened um there's been sort of a wrench thrown in those plans so uh, maybe you're just spending a little bit more time at home today now uh, advice for that situation is the empress the empress is all about nurturing and uh, the divine feminine 
sort of archetype. So the advice for you here is to um, figure out some ways to maybe put some work in if you are stuck somewhere, if you're stuck around the house or something, or just not able to go out and socialize quite so much. Find some projects that you maybe haven't been giving as much attention and uh, use that extra time to, to make something happen, to make something good, to, uh, to nurture and to kind of manage the home life a little bit more instead of, uh, you know, going out or, or doing things outside the house. And that's going to kind of serve you well today. Um, you know, it, it's kind of asking you to make some lemons out of the lemonade here and to readjust your focus from outside to more of like an internal and nurturing type of an energy. So that was pretty short and sweet for card number one. No huge deal there. So let's go ahead and move on to card number two. If you chose the emerald, then you have the king of swords. Oh no, I seem to have only drawn two cards for, for card number two. So let's go ahead and <laughs> grab another one here. Okay, so uh, for card number two with the emerald, I'm just trying to make sure I actually didn't. Yeah, I guess I just missed one. Oh, well, things happen. Hmm. Um, so the king of swords is the situation here in the reverse. Um, so this can be somebody who is uh, who, who thinks they know a lot. Uh, there's a, a little bit of a you know, King of Swords is intellectual, and uh, he's got things figured out. He's um, a sharp, witty thinker, very resourceful and everything. Um, but in this reverse, it's like some things have not really gone according to his, uh, his ideas. He's been a little bit mistaken, possibly a little bit. He can be a little... Um, arrogant with his knowledge um, but there may be some you know real life experience that has contradicted that knowledge and uh, his knowledge has not really served him as well as it normally would um, so you know there either there is an abuse of this kind of knowledge or um, just a overconfidence in in uh, his ability to work things out mentally here so uh, crossing is this five of swords. That five of swords in the reverse there is, um, you know, there may have been a struggle recently or like an argument where you may have said some things that you kind of regretted or something like that, but you're, you're kind of realizing that and you may be feeling a little bit low about it. You may be feeling like um, it's time to go apologize and that you don't really want to argue um, or it's not as important as the overall relationship that you had here so you know that's that's probably a good place for you to be here um, and then what's your advice for this situation is this nine of wands so the nine of wands uh, is about like having gone through some battles or some trials and um, maybe being damaged by that uh, situation and you know things were possibly a little bit even traumatic in this experience and so um you know he carries forward and he has uh, a lot of bravery and everything but he's cautious he's cautious about what's happened before so i think that uh in the context of this argument that may have occurred or something like that um you're probably going to be you're going to want to be cautious in the way that you approach this person or in um and how you, you know, if you are trying to kind of uh, patch things up or apologize or something like that, um, you're going to have to be careful how you do it because there's probably some some pretty tense energy there still there, and uh, you're not going to want to end up getting uh, back into another sort of argument. So be prepared to you know eat some crow and to essentially. Um, you know, if this relationship really matters more than the particular argument, if the stakes are um, not so high that you can just kind of let go of this 
it would be prudent to do that, but also not in such an obvious way that it seems like you're patronizing the person, because it seems like there is quite a bit of pride uh, at work here. And so, you know, and that's not inherently wrong. It's like, it's not that the pride shouldn't be there. I'm not making that case. But what I'm saying is that when that pride is there, um, it's only natural for, you know, tempers to flare up and for people not to be quite as um, understanding or emotionally accepting about the situation. So it may be that you just have to kind of like walk on eggshells a little bit uh, to get through the situation well, um, or just to keep the peace, right? So that's about it for the card number two here. All right, if you chose the emerald... Okay, so um, we're going to go ahead and move on to card number three. If you chose this one with the petrified wood, I actually did draw three cards this time. <laughs> okay, all right, so card number one and two were a little bit um, less eventful. This one seems to be a little bit of a bigger deal. You have all uh, major arcana cards, and you know if you don't know much about the tarot, the major arcana um, are. You can think of the difference between the major and minor arcana as like the minor are more like the daily weather, the things that just kind of change um, from day to day, and then the major arcana are kind of more like changes in the climate or in the change of the seasons. You know, um, bigger changes that come that are a little bit more pronounced and a little bit longer term. Um, and so what you have today is this magician in the reverse. So there's typically a, a good potential for manifestation of getting things done. And you um, probably like have all of the pieces there, but it's not really worked out. It, it's like things have not gone the way that you expect. And you may be kind of at a loss for what's going wrong. And um, typically what I find in this situation is uh, the, the remedy is usually some patience, um, some, uh, you know, giving the universe time uh, because a lot of times, so the magician, you know, he's got a really, really advanced ability to manifest what he wants, what his desires are. Um, he's very skilled at that. But what happens is sometimes that skill can lead to essentially attempting to manifest something that takes some time for it to occur. And then it can kind of be unfortunate that if it takes too much time, he can sort of start to doubt himself. And then that doubt kind of reinforces um, the lack of manifestation. And so it can delay the process, uh, sometimes almost indefinitely. So it's something that has to be kind of escaped from uh, but it's like a Chinese finger trap you know it's like once you get in it um, being in it kind of reinforces it so um, yeah so there's you know something's not quite gone right so the the advice here is to have some patience and to just uh, retain faith that it's going to happen but also when manifesting anything the best way to proceed is to continue working toward that goal um, and then you know if if it manifests itself somewhat more magically than just putting in all that hard work, um, then, you know, good, that's fine. But at least you are still working toward that goal in the process and, and kind of, um, kind of priming your subconscious to know what you want, you know? So the crossing energy here is this justice card, and justice very much deals with like logic and the the laws of the universe, the rules of the universe and everything. So um, in this way, you know, this goal to manifest something is definitely um, adhering to the laws of the universe. It's, it's not as though, even though he's the magician, right? Um, it's really, it seems like it's magic to other people who watch, but the magician knows better. He knows that there are still laws uh, of, of nature and of the universe, and he does not overcome those laws, but he does use higher laws against lower laws, right? 
So uh, this is kind of what's at work here with this justice card is that there is a method to the madness and there is a reason that these things may have been delayed or have happened the way that they have happened. Um, so, you know, search for that logic and that meaning in this instead of just sort of um, assuming that it hasn't worked right. It, it has worked right. It just hasn't worked the way that you expected, right? And there's a difference there. Um, I like to give quotes with my tarot readings, and the one that comes to mind here is an old Chinese quote. When the wrong man uses the right means, the right means work in the wrong way. So uh, what you have here for your advice is this devil in the reverse. And so this can mean that uh, it's possible that your desires have gotten a little bit um, possibly out of control. Now, at, at a certain level, desire is one of the things that drives the, the magician. Um, or drives his power of manifestation. Desire is an element that is there in his power of manifestation. But what can happen is it, it has to exist in a balance. All four of the elements, uh, or really five of the elements, have to exist in this balance for this power of manifestation to be effective. Now, when, when desire gets out of balance, essentially um, it becomes a little bit it's like, okay, well, the initial seed of desire, which created the idea for the manifestation in the first place, um, it, it doesn't end there. Instead, now there's this desire for it to happen quicker. And then that desire sends some kind of false messages, which are not really um, conducive to the process of the manifestation. And you know, when I say, I've said manifestation a lot, what I mean by that is the will to make something happen, right? Um, or the will to uh, create something or, you know, just I'm, I'm using the term manifestation pretty broadly here. But if you are attempting to do something and then you let your desires uh, kind of interfere with the process of doing it, it kind of turns into a, a hesitant situation where things go awry um, simply because you're not trusting and you're not in that flow state and not just allowing it to unfold uh, naturally, right? So that's what can be happening here with this devil. Uh, and so your advice is to kind of just, like I said, have some patience and to focus on uh, a realistic uh, path. And realistic is means something different for every person. So just look in yourself and ask yourself, what's realistic for my expectations here? And, uh, you know, adhere to that idea and uh, trusting that it's going to happen is is what kind of provokes the universe to short circuit the process and make things happen a little bit as if by more magic um, which is the speciality of this magician okay so that's about it for card number three and if you have any comments or questions please leave them for me i'm happy to answer them and i will see you guys tomorrow for the next daily reading have a good one.